We're going to be spending at least $160,000 to fulfill a 1031. DS Investments, this is going to be your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and folks... If you're new to Holton Wise TV, you're new to the channel, you're new to the show, uh, number one, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Show us the love. Give us the like button. This show, we're going to help you guys build, start, grow, expand your rental property portfolios. And my clients today, <clears throat> we do one-on-one. -on -one. We work together, right? You and me and my team, right? My clients today, a company called DS Investments, all right? As soon as I get my computer to stop being bogus, we'll pop, pop up the property on the screen. Here we go. DS Investments, the property I found for you guys is 18202 East Park, Cleveland, Ohio, 44119. It's been on the market for 35 days, listed at $99,000. Now, I know you guys have $160,000 you need to spend in order to um, – successfully do this 1031 exchange. Now, per your notes to me, we don't have to spend all $160,000 on one property. So what I've done for you guys, we looked at some other more expensive properties, but now we're trying to find a couple cheaper properties that may kick off better returns. And I think this one would work great for you guys. Now, the listing agents, uh, they're out of home smart real estate momentum. They only provided us with one picture, but the picture does show me that this is a very nice, well taken care of property. Now, something you'll notice, we got a couple cracks, okay, in the concrete. It's a little unlevel. Now, that's not very uncommon in the Cleveland market. We have a lot of older housing stock. This could be a very big deal, could be a problem if it was in a city with POS requirements. If you don't know what I mean when I say POS requirements, I want you to just pause this video. In the show notes below, I have a video explaining exactly what POS requirements are. So going forward, I'm assuming you know what I'm talking about. Now, a lot of municipalities in the Cleveland area have POS requirements. Cleveland itself, though, does not. And this is in Cleveland itself. It's pretty close to Euclid, but it's not in Euclid. So we get the benefit of a nice neighborhood. This is a nice little low-risk neighborhood, right? C-ish, C-class neighborhood. But we don't have to deal with POS requirements or higher taxes. So I like this quite a bit. And that driveway, without the POS, not going to be a big deal. That's not going to bother tenants. And you don't have to spend the money replacing it. That's kind of par for the course for a housing stock that is currently this old. Now, what else I got for you? Let me make that a little bigger for you guys. Oh, by the way, here's the map shot, right? Way up there, way up there, right? Close to the lake. Pretty nice little neighborhood. Now, this is what's going on right now. These are their current rents, okay? They had a tenant in the downstairs paying six seventy-five. They have another one in the upstairs paying at six and a quarter. That tenant who's currently paying six and a quarter has been there over seven years currently on a month to month lease. So what we could do, though, going forward in the long term, those rents are low, man. I want to see us put two tenants in there at seven fifty dollars a pop. So we're going to be bringing in a total of $1,500 a month, 18 Gs a year. Now, the empty unit, I don't know the condition of it. They said after the tenant left, they were leaving it empty so they can sell the property. That's what the listing agent said. So I don't know the exact condition, so I'm not sure what the rental budget will have to be. We'll have to figure that out at the inspection, but it's probably going to be minimal based upon what I'm seeing. If we got to do like a couple grand of cosmetic work, it shouldn't sway you on this deal one way or the other. Perhaps we could use the findings in the inspection report to adjust our offer accordingly. What I'd like to see us do is pick it up for 90 right 90 g's okay and then after that we may or may not need to spend a little bit of money on that unit but if we can get it for 90 g's known we may or may not need to spend a little 
bit to eventually get 1500 in rent. That's a great deal. As for the tenant that's still there, the one that is still paying this six and a quarter, we, we want to get them to 750 eventually, yes, but we don't want to try to immediately push them to 750 right? You up there around $175 as soon as you take over the property, you give them a little 30-day notice and you go up to 750 you might cause yourself an artificial turnover. I don't want to see you guys do that. No artificial turnovers. This is multifamily investing. People are going to be moving in and out of these properties during the time you own them, right? Let's not make that happen more than it needs to. Artificial turnover, turnover itself, that's what hurts us, right? That extra uh, 150 bucks a month for that unit, or actually be 100 and a quarter, actually. I'm sorry, 100 and a quarter. That 100 and a quarter you're going to get in rent for that unit, that doesn't really matter to your bottom line. What matters is making someone move out, and then maybe we got to spruce that unit up, upgrade the kitchen, upgrade the bath, floors, walls, the whole shebang. Yes, once we harden them once uh, and set them up, we're setting them up in a way, we do our first renovation in a way that minimizes future repair costs, future turnover costs, but that's like what hurts our bottom line, guys. So let's go ahead, take this over. We're going to go to market rent on the vacant unit. We'll get that right up to $750. let us slowly increase that tenant's rent. So let's try to keep them in that property paying rent as much as humanly possible. And eventually, we'll either have increased their rent enough to get you to $750, or they will have moved out on their own, and we'll have done a nice little turn, and then got you two tenants at $750. So when we're at $1,500 in rent, folks, I anticipate... Our average expense is being approximately eight seventy three a month. Our repairs, our vacancy, our capex, taxes, insurance, the whole shebang. Speaking of insurance, anybody out there watching this, we own a farmers insurance brokerage. Okay, we have we have insurance. We also have title work for you too. So when we get to the closings and stuff, make sure you get set up with the right title company so you don't buy any properties on quick claim deeds or anything of that nature. You can get yourself tied up in some serious scams if you're not working with right title companies doing things the right way getting title insurance right so if you're curious about those scams i got another video on the show notes you might want to check that out but what i'm trying to tell you though is with your insurance we could cover that for you guys too okay we'll get you guys landlord insurance all we do is deal with landlords we got the best prices outside of that farmer's business my company my insurance company we're appointed with a bunch of other companies you've probably never heard of like foremost usli things of that nature they don't necessarily directly market to consumers but what we do is we shop it around we get you guys the best price. So DS, of course, we'll be able to uh, go ahead and get you an insurance quote for this property, insure this property for you. But everybody else, even if you're not in Cleveland yet, we're, we're, we're insured, we're licensed, we're appointed coast to coast, right? So go ahead, click the show notes below. We'll get you a quote on your portfolio. Don't matter what state it's in, uh, we should be able to help you out. If it's one of the states we can't help you out, we'll let you know. We'll, we'll, tell, we'll send you to somebody who can though. Okay, guys? Now, 627 after all that, right? That's what I think the NOI is going to be on average. It's an average. Well, not going to be like that every month, every year, but that's an average, right? It's reasonable expectation. So if we could pick it up for about 90 Gs, that's an eight and a half cap basically. And then we finance this out, right? Because as per what you've told me with your 1031, you're able to couple that with financing, which is great. You should be seeing an average return of almost 20%, right? 18.3% is what I have projected. So we still need to do a little bit more due diligence in regards to the home inspection, but that may offer us the ability to negotiate even further. I'm already going to try to get us a 10% discount because I think that's what this property's worth. And I think that's going to be a solid deal. Now, of course... That is not enough. We need to buy more properties. We have to identify at least $160,000 worth of real estate. So we're going to go to a quick word from the sponsor of today's show, and then we'll get you guys into the second property I found for you. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. 
discount property warehouse founded by real estate visionary Robert Field, author of the Short Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third party home inspection, new HVAC with 10 year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price to rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. All right, folks, welcome back. Now, the next property I got for you just hit the market four days ago. I've been looking at this one last two days. I've been playing around with this one. Someone actually went in, the agent went in and uh, switched it to pending uh, as of today uh, or late last night, okay? Now, normally when these go pending, what I like to do is I like to just kind of move on, find you something that's still active, but I still wanted to analyze this one because two reasons. Number one, these properties have a way of coming back on the market. You know, I've been in this game a long time, folks. I've sold over $200 million of real estate, and it's all this investment stuff, the small mixed-use stuff, right? I'm the number one seller of the stuff in the Cleveland market. These properties have a way of just coming back on the market, especially when they're picked up immediately after they go right on the market. Buyers get all excited. They see the potential cash flow, but they don't really break it down enough. And then they get their inspection, and oftentimes they back away. And then the second reason they back away, which is the second reason I really wanted to do this one, is they really get hit with comps and the appraised value, and then things really come into play. And these properties, when they're overpriced, they always come back. And I think this one is dramatically overpriced. I will be shocked if this particular property sells, actually closes at $150,000 because I see no scenario where this sucker is going to appraise at $150,000. As a matter of fact, the price that I think it's worth, the price I'd love to see you guys pick it up at, is going to be $115,000. So, like, if the thing was listed at, like, one twenty four or somewhere reasonably close, I would have maybe said, eh, doesn't look like this is going to pop off. We don't need to worry about it. Let's just move on. But with this one, I, I literally see no scenario where this is going to close. If it does close, kudos to that listing agent who works out of uh, Howard Hanna and kudos to that seller. Uh, feel bad for the buyer because I think they're overpaying by quite a bit. Now, why would they overpay? What is getting them so excited? Well, I'll show you. First of all, it's a triplex, okay? Three units instead of two, and it looks pretty nice, right? You don't have uh, any major issues. The units themselves, they appear to be pretty clean, pretty fresh. No issues there. Everything is looking pretty good. We got these cool little skylights in the third unit. So, you know... It appears like a big moneymaker. We got a nice, fresh, clean basement, right? You got three pretty new hot water tanks, you know, three updated electric panels, newer furnaces. You know, you got the nice garage, right? It's got a lot to offer. It's got the, the for, second form of egress, so that third unit itself is, uh, you know, it's very, uh, it's legal, right? You don't have to worry about anything. And it's got a potential, a big old potential to bring in a lot of rent, right? It could be bringing in 2175 a month, right? That third unit, that has a tenant. That's paying six seventy five. That's that's pretty much market for that because there's only one bedroom, but it's nice and spacious. Now the other two units, as you see on my chart here, they're worth seven fifty a month. That's what we could be getting twenty one seventy five. That could be what people are excited about, right? Brings in twenty six thousand one hundred a year. But the current rents are low, man. They were like five hundred a unit or something, right? So I really think that this particular buyer is a buyer who's probably looking at like, oh, it's fresh. It's got skylights. That's really nice. It could be bringing in a ton of rent. This is going to be great. But they're not really understanding, even though all that stuff is great, even though the property itself is great, even though it's got a ton of benefits, you still have some issues. And one of those issues is going to be your comps. Okay, guys? Now, I like, I like this little neighborhood, okay? I like this little area. We're close to Metro Health. I think that's going to be a great place to invest your money. I think things are going to get nicer. But this is still very much a D-class neighborhood, right? 
there are not going to be comps in this neighborhood that support an appraised value of $150,000. I just do not see it. I don't see how that could happen. So the what I think is going to happen with this deal, I think this buyer is probably a little green, probably a little fresh, because the seller, they did, man. They made it easy, right? They put tenants in there. We got a high potential rent roll. It's clean. It's fresh. We got, you know, the bones of the property, the furnaces, the hot water tank. They're all newer, so people get excited. But look, man, furnaces and hot water tanks, they're not as expensive as people think, right? Those hot water tanks, three fresh hot water tanks. Oh, my God, yay, three fresh hot water tanks. I don't have to worry about it. Guys, three fresh hot water tanks, that's only $3,000. It's not that big a deal. Furnaces, they're three Gs a piece. Not that big a deal, right? So don't get enamored by this don't get like uh you know distracted by the shiny object and dramatically overpay because even with the hot water tanks the electric panels being nice and labeled everything looking fresh and clean we still got a d-class neighborhood we still got tenants paying below market rent it's going to take some time to get them up to those 750 ranges or it's going to take you know them moving out and turning over yeah those units look fresh and clean but we're still going to have to do turnovers right we're still going to have to go back in and paint them things of that nature right so it's not, you know, as hot as it could be. Do I love the deal? Yeah, absolutely. I do love it. At 115, not at 150. As far as what it could be making the long term, it, it does. It pencils out some great money. 2175 comes in, 1157 goes out. Average NOI over a G, over 12 Gs a year, right? At my price, it's a 10-6 cap, and if you finance it, could be a return of almost 30%. So I want you guys to pay attention to this one. I want you guys to focus on this one. Make yourself a note because I think this one's coming back. And the cool thing is if it does come back, hopefully it comes back after that buyer already ordered an inspection because I think it's going to either fall out of contract at the inspection or it'll fall out of contract at the appraisal. We're probably not going to be able to get the appraisal because a lot of people think that uh, buyers own appraisals. No, you're, you're a buyer. You pay for the appraisal, but you don't even own that appraisal, man. That's the bank's appraisal, so they don't really care if you get it. So very unlikely that's going to make its way to the listing agent. But the inspection, however, buyers pay for that. When they want to renegotiate the contract or they want to try to exit from the contract, in almost all the real estate contracts I see out here in the Cleveland market, it's set up in there that the buyer has to provide the reasons why in writing from an inspector why they want to renegotiate their deal or why they want to back out of their deal. So we should theoretically have a great shot at getting the previous buyer's inspection report because they're going to provide it to a listing agent. I'll be able to come in, talk to the listing agent. Hey, I saw your property fell out of contract. I got some investors who are very serious. We need to spend some money on a 1031. This fits it. They're out of state. We need to have somebody inspect it anyway. So do you have a third party report? Let's look at that. We might be able to move towards an as-is offer. Keep get rid of the red tape, which is going to be great, right? Because that seller, they're already a little upset. They're a seller who's like, yeah, I'm about to close. I'm about to close. And then boom, their deal fell apart. So they're going to be very excited to get a person coming in with an offer that doesn't have any red tape, doesn't have any contingencies, which is great because that particular seller is hoping to get 150 and we're not <laughs> anywhere near 150, right? So we need to, you know, get them excited about working with us. And in that scenario, I think one of the biggest reasons they'll be excited is our offer ain't going to fall apart like their last one just did. So will this one go down? I'm not 100% sure, but I liked it. And I just thought it was definitely worth taking a look, definitely worth us continuing on because I, I really see it come back on the market. So let me know if uh, either of these make sense for you guys. Let me get your feedback. As we've been going through the videos I've been doing for you guys, you know, we've shifted gears a couple times, and you guys are giving me great feedback. You know, you guys are saying, hey, let's do this, and then, you know, we do it, and then maybe we make some adjustments. So same thing, right? Let's let's get some more adjustments. Let's get some more thoughts, and uh, let's really narrow this down. And, you know, hopefully we pull at least a one deal out of this, and then on the next video, we could look for some other properties as well. Um, if we don't pull any deals out of this, you know, to give me some more feedback, and we'll keep hunting, and we'll get you guys uh, that nice portfolio out here in Cleveland, set you guys up at your 1031. Every Everybody else, if you like what I'm doing with these investors, you know, DNS investments, you guys want to work with me and my team one-on-one -on -one like we're doing, all you guys got to do is go to HoltonWise.com, click the Property Search for Sale tab, right? Scroll over here to the MLS Search and Analysis show, 
and pick a package today. We got a couple nice sales going. We got the four pack. We got the 10 pack. That's what DS got. They got the 10 pack. I like the bigger packages, guys. A, I've reduced the price for you on a per property basis. And B, if you're not catching my drift here, folks, Cleveland, a lot of you guys come to Cleveland. You guys are from out of state. You guys are from California. A lot of you, you come here to Cleveland or the other turnkey markets because our prices are cheap and you're like, oh, there's great deals out there. Yeah, there is, but there's not like, they're not just sitting out there, right? We got to do some work to get them for the real value, right? If you want to be like a, you know, buy from a pure traditional turnkey provider, it's going to be like that duplex or the triplex I just showed you guys. They made everything nice. They made everything easy. They made everything fresh and clean. It's there for you. But guess what? It's overpriced. Like, if you want us to provide that to you at an overpriced basis, sure, you could do that. We'll, we'll give it to you. But if you want to actually pick these properties up for very low prices, possibly below fair market value, you're going to have to do some work. We're going to have to slingshot a lot of offers out there. We're going to have to analyze a lot of properties. You know, I'm sure... People have heard people say you got to you gotta make 100 offers before you get your first deal. Now, I don't think it's that extreme. That's a, that's a, that's a lot of offers. But we definitely got to put a lot of hooks out there in the water, and not every deal is going to go through. And that's why I like this, right? It creates a long-term relationship. It allows me and my team to devote these kind of time and resources to you guys. So when you do actually close on that property, it's the right property. So if you want to work with us, that's how you do it. If you're not interested in the one-on-one, one or any of that jazz you just want to browse inventory of stuff we have for sale as i said i have actually sold more um properties more investment properties in the cleveland market than anyone else over 200 million so we have another show it's called the investment properties for sale show check that out it's all the properties we have been hired to sell by the sellers or stuff that i own that we're selling to you guys management in place already very simple uh, just browse that. We got video tours, and you just go ahead and you make your bids right off the show. You, know, you just send us an email, sales at holdenwise.com, to make your bids. Note that most of those properties, usually you're in a bidding war, though, right? Because popular show, a lot of people are watching. So those are the ways you can work with us, folks. That's all I've got for you guys today, though. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. Reeb has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. Reeb is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. RentTech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.